Do you know that Tom Hiddleston was a huge fan of Superman as a child? And did you know that the directors of James Bond have said that Tom Hiddleston is perfect for the role of James Bond? Does this mean we will see Tom Hiddleston as the next James Bond? In today's video, we will explore the challenges Tom Hiddleston faced in his childhood that helped him become a very self-confident person. We will also learn how Tom Hiddleston became such a hard-working individual. Did you know that even after receiving offers from films, Tom Hiddleston did not leave his acting school? And did you know that legendary director Steven Spielberg personally gave Tom Hiddleston acting advice? Perhaps this is why Tom Hiddleston's acting performance became so remarkable, allowing us to connect emotionally with his iconic role as Loki. Knowing about Tom Hiddleston's respect for women will make you like him even more. In today's video, we will also learn some interesting anecdotes from Tom Hiddleston's life. For example, did you know that Tom Hiddleston was once walking in the jungle? but had no idea he was walking right into a nest of snakes? Did you know that Tom Hiddleston is also known for his donations? And is it true that Tom Hiddleston was in a relationship with Taylor Swift? So get ready, because in today's video, we will learn the complete story of Tom Hiddleston's life. Tom Hiddleston was born on February 9, 1981, in Westminster, London. His mother, Diana Patricia Hiddleston, was a former stage manager, while his father, James Norman Hiddleston, came from a humble background but became the owner of a pharmaceutical biotech company, which also has links to Oxford University. Due to his father's hardworking nature, Tom inherited strong work ethics, especially from his father. Tom was aware of how hard his father worked for their family, and he didn't want to let them down. This motivation drove him to work even harder than his co-workers. Since his father was often busy with work, Tom received a lot of love and support from his mother and sisters. Their constant praise contributed to Tom becoming a self-confident individual. While Tom acknowledged learning hard work from his father, it was the strength from his mother and sisters that truly molded him into the person he is today. During his childhood, Tom Hiddleston was an avid reader of Superman comics and a huge fan of Christopher Reeves's portrayal of Superman. However, when Tom was 13 years old, his life took a difficult turn when his parents decided to separate. Although Tom and his sisters stayed with their mother, they still had regular meetings with their father. Despite living in a modest home, Tom had the opportunity to attend the best schools and colleges with the help of his father. As he grew older, Tom became increasingly interested in acting, particularly after performing in stage plays during vacations with his sisters. His talent caught the attention of the school drama club director, who invited him to participate in a theatrical production. Working in theater, Tom realized his passion for acting and decided to join the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. Although his father provided significant financial support, Tom never hesitated to take on part-time jobs. During summer vacations, he worked as a waiter, although the experience was unpleasant due to rude customers. Like many other actors, Tom Hiddleston began his career in television, appearing in the 2001 series, The Life and Adventures of NN. Even after appearing in this show, he did not leave his Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. And then, after six years, he got his first big role after graduating in 2005, he started his acting career. Casting director Lucy Bevan saw a unique confidence in Tom Hiddleston and cast him in the 2007 movie, Unrelated. The film received positive reviews and was even shortlisted for the London Film Festival. Although this was Tom's first successful project, but people knew him more for his stage performances. In 2008, Tom received Theatre Goer's Choice Awards for his role as Cassio in William Shakespeare's Othello. Afterward, Tom appeared in several British TV series, but the 2008 movie Miss Austin Regrets was a turning point for him. Although the movie didn't receive exceptional reviews from critics and audiences, Tom Hiddleston's performance couldn't be ignored, and it paved the way for him to receive significant roles in the future. In 2011, Tom Hiddleston got his first big role in the movie Midnight in Paris. Now, this is a writer, uh, Gil. Yes, Gil. Gil Pender. Gil Pender. Hemingway. Hemingway? You like my book. Director Woody Allen personally offered Tom the role through a short letter. Tom was so thrilled by this personal request from Woody Allen that he still has the letter framed on his wall. The movie achieved considerable success, grossing over $100 million at the box office. It was nominated for four Oscars and four Golden Globe Awards, including in the category of Best Picture. That same year, another one of his movies, The Deep Blue Sea, was released, in which he starred alongside the talented Rachel Weisz. Audiences greatly appreciated Tom's performance in the film. Additionally, in 2011, Tom had the opportunity to work in the movie War Horse. For this role, he had to learn horse riding for two months. The legendary director Steven Spielberg gave Tom acting advice, 
telling him to imagine himself as a nine-year-old child surrounded by war. Spielberg's advice helped Tom deliver a very natural performance in the movie. In 2011, Tom Hiddleston landed the biggest role of his career, playing Loki in Marvel's Thor. Surprisingly, Tom initially auditioned for the role of Thor, not Loki. After his Thor audition, he was called back for several more auditions, and even started gaining muscle for the role. Despite his hard work for the Thor role, he ultimately worked even harder for the role of Loki. He lost a significant amount of weight for the part, and as we all know, delivered an incredible performance as Loki. Tom didn't view Loki merely as a villain. He saw him as an adopted child who made poor decisions after discovering his father had deceived him. When his mistakes led to his mother's death, it showed how deeply he was affected, allowing the audience to connect with Loki on a more emotional level. On a human level, um, he, his psychology and his emotional landscape is very, very interesting because he's so intelligent and yet so broken. The movie Thor became a massive success, earning over $400 million at the box office. And after this movie, Loki's fan base skyrocketed. Loki became so beloved in Thor that we got to see him again as a villain in the first Avengers movie in 2012. Say my name. Loki. Say my name. Loki. Say my name. Loki. Despite Thor and Loki's contentious on-screen relationship, in real life, Tom Hiddleston and Chris Hemsworth are great friends. Their friendship led to a fantastic bond between their characters in the 2014 movie Thor The Dark World. Although this movie wasn't as well received as the first Thor movie, the relationship between Thor and Loki was praised, resonating well with the audience. Afterward, Tom Hiddleston appeared in three more Marvel movies, Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. In these movies, we saw Loki portrayed more as an anti-hero, which made him even more of a fan favorite. As Tom Hiddleston became increasingly popular, the media began linking him romantically with other celebrities. He was in relationship with Taylor Swift during the filming of Thor Ragnarok in 2017. Although their relationship lasted only a few months due to media scrutiny, they still hold each other in high regard. Tom has mentioned that while he's romantic, he's also looking for a partner who can not only connect with him, but also build a good relationship with his mother. Despite media intrusions, Tom has always tried to keep his personal life private. After Thor, in 2011, Tom Hiddleston appeared in the 2012 TV series The Hollow Crown, where his character starts as a troubled prince, but eventually becomes a wise king for his people. In our marches through the country, there'd be nothing compelled from the villages. Nothing taken but paid for. None of the French upbraided or abused in disdainful language. For when lenity and cruelty play for a kingdom. Tom took this role seriously, and critics could see his dedication to it. In 2013, he starred in Only Lovers Left Alive as an ancient vampire, alongside Tilda Swinton. Both actors delivered fantastic performances. Although the movie didn't fare exceptionally well at the box office, it received praise from critics and audiences alike. In 2015, Tom starred in three movies, I Saw the Light, Crimson Peak, and High Rise, leaving his mark in each. Then, in 2016, he appeared in the TV series, The Night Manager, where his performance earned him a Golden Globe Award. Have you always been the night manager? It's my profession, yes. You chose it? I think it chose me. It's a shame. You look fine by daylight. The director of the show described Tom as an acting machine due to his exceptional performance. Tom's performances have been so outstanding that both critics and audiences, and even the director of James Bond film, also have said that Tom is a perfect fit for the role of the next James Bond. Would you like to see Tom Hiddleston as the next James Bond? Let me know in the comments. In 2017, Tom Hiddleston appeared in the movie Kong Skull Island, alongside his Marvel co-stars Samuel L. Jackson and Brie Larson. When Tom was offered this role, he accepted it immediately because he had been a huge fan of the Kong franchise since childhood. The movie was filmed in the jungles of Vietnam, a location that was so beautiful, but as beautiful. The location was, it was as dangerous too. For example, one night Tom went out for a walk, but a crew member stopped him just in time. Upon checking, they discovered the area was filled with snakes. The movie achieved massive success, grossing over $500 million at the box office and received positive reviews from both critics and audiences. Despite his busy movie schedule, Tom has not abandoned his stage performances. He frequently performs in stage plays, which are very well received by audiences.
We're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, uh, you do what you do. I do what I gotta do. <laughs> what if you do got me boxed in? I'm not gonna put you down. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm from now. I go back in time. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a time machine. And, uh, it's kind of it's cool and it's kind of woody and you just kind of, it's kind of. In 2018, he lent his voice to the animated film Early Man. Ah! Oh! Ah! Stefano! Not so am fisted. In fact, enough massage. How about some relaxing music? <laughs> Tom Hiddleston is also a strong advocate for gender equality and believes that even in the film industry, everyone should be treated equally. By this time, Marvel had started planning a series for Loki. Initially, the series was supposed to focus on Loki's childhood, showcasing stories from his early years. However, Marvel soon realized the immense fan base Loki had, leading to the release of the Loki series in 2021, which played a crucial role in Marvel's future plans. The first season of the series ended in 2021 and was well received by the audience. Two years later, the second and possibly final season was released. After watching season two, Loki became an even more beloved character, transitioning from the god of mischief to the god of stories. Besides Loki, Mobius, played by Owen Wilson, was also highly appreciated. This show not only became the most watched Marvel series under Disney, but also won several awards. Additionally, Tom Hiddleston lent his voice to Marvel's animated series, What If? If you're a fan of Tom Hiddleston, you should be proud of him. For over a decade, he has consistently contributed to charities and helped the less fortunate. Once, when thousands of children were dying from hunger in Africa, Tom stepped in to help. He said, I know I can't go there and help directly, but at least we can raise our voices and help as much as we can. Every child deserves a chance to start their life. Who's the most powerful superhero? Iron Man! Wrong. Grips, he's mad. He's not even a superhero. But I'm Fart Man! I'm pretty sure you just made that up. The Mighty Thor! When it comes to Tom Hiddleston's personal life, he is known for his deep respect for women. Tom has said, I feel like today's generation has forgotten what romance means. I've heard songs where they disrespect women. If you love someone, you can't treat them like a piece of meat. You should treat them like a princess. Maybe I'm a bit old-fashioned, but you should prioritize the woman you love. In 2019, while performing in The Betrayal Play, Tom met Zaw Ashton. After two years of a private relationship, they went public with their relationship in 2021, revealing that they were already engaged. In 2022, Tom Hiddleston became a father. He is now enjoying a happy family life. I wasn't scared anymore. So that was the complete story of Tom Hiddleston's life. His journey from a hardworking young actor to a fan favorite Hollywood star is truly inspiring. Remember, it doesn't matter if someone is a businessman, a woman, or even a waiter. We should respect everyone. If you enjoyed the video on Tom Hiddleston's life story, you can check out the life story of another talented actor, Oscar winner Killian Murphy, by clicking the i button. Which actor's life story would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments, so see you in the next video. Before leaving, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.